Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's Bible Bits. You know, your parents may not be perfect, but they are the most precious gift that God has ever given you. I thought about this the other day as I was driving along. Every kid will make a psychologist or a therapist rich in trying to justify their rebellion of their sins versus their parents and others. They will spend good money in trying to find ways to think that what they did was okay. But you know, it was really important, even from the very beginning, when God rescued the Jews from Egypt's hand as slaves, he told them in Exodus chapter 20, Honor your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord is giving you. And that's the promised land. It was so important that he repeated it again in Deuteronomy, which is known as the laws. Honor your father and your mother, as the Lord has commanded you. Then you will live a long and full life in the land the Lord is giving you. The New Testament also has a, prom uh, a promise. It's the first commandment with promise very similar to what the Old Testament was. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you, because you're going to have kids too one day, and that you may live long in the land. So if you want to have a long life, you should obey your parents as you would the Lord because it is right. The Lord wouldn't stir you wrong. He tells you it is good to do this for your own sake. But many don't choose the Lord's way. Many choose their own way. And they choose in their pride to justify their own way. And so... The money that they earn, the hard-earned money that they earn, is spent at 50, 100, 130, 150, 200, 350 dollars an hour at some therapist or psychologist's office saying, you know, well, I love you best, or well, my mom was not fair to me, or my dad was mean to me. No one's perfect, and the world's not fair, but the Lord does give you a gift. And that gift, so you could be in the position that you are in as an adult, was because of your parents. So, come back to the Lord, honor the Lord, he's the main father, and honor your parents. If you haven't done this, and you know things are wrong, make things right today. Pick up the phone, give them a call, tell them you miss them, that you love them, and that you're sorry. Parents also hurt on the other end when their kids are away and they don't talk to them and they don't want them. But really the one that's more punished is the one who's incarcerated in their own prison cell of anger and bitterness and hate. Don't let that be you. Be free from that. The Lord wants you to live a whole and a wholesome life. One day you will have children, said the Lord Terry. And it doesn't matter whether you're 6, 8, 12, 14, 17, 18, 21, 23, whatever you are now, 30, 35, 40. The Lord's word is timeless. He's not bound by time and space. But he does give us a second chance and a third chance and a fourth chance. He strives with us to make things right. So that's my Bible bit for you today. Leave your comment below and hit subscribe. Thanks for joining us. God bless. Have a wonderful day.